In this video, I will show you how to create dynamic box and biscuit chart in Microsoft Excel. Along with this, I will show you how to connect this chart with timeline slicer. For example, if I want to analyze my February data set, I will easily select and it will analyze my data set. Not only this, I can easily analyze multiple months of data set. And not only this, I can easily switch month to quarters and it will analyze data sheet based on quarters and we have option for years as well. So how we can develop this amazing chart in Microsoft Excel? I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this data sheet on which I have the date column, multiple store and four products. Now, of course, you can create this chart for different kind of data sheet. You just need to follow my method. The first thing I will click anywhere on this table, click on insert. We need to create pivot table on a new worksheet and simply hit OK. The next thing I will simply move date on a rows field and it will automatically group my date. In this case, I will simply remove these groups. So I will click and here you can see remove field, remove the quarters months as well and we only need the actual dates the next thing i will simply move store on column field and now i will simply move p1 p2 p3 p4 on a values field you can also click on this box and it will automatically move on a values field now you can see a sum of values field on columns we simply need to move these values on a rows field and now my whole structure is updated. Now I will go to design. The first thing we need to off the subtotal. We also need to off the grand total. In this case, I will simply click show in tabular form. And now I will simply rename the values to let's say product. The next thing I will simply remove the sum of hit one space and simply hit enter. Next, I will click outside my pivot table. For example, I will click on F4 cell, simply type equal, filter function, open parenthesis. In this case, I will click on B4 and simply select all of my data sheet. Scroll a little bit to the bottom side. And now I will go to formula bar and simply remove the last four. In this case, I will add four zero. Let's say I have 10,000 of data sheet. I just use a large number so that in future if we have more data set formula will automatically capture those data set. Hit comma. For the include parameter I will click on B4, drag the mouse down and simply add manually 3 more zero. Now in this case the total number of rows for array and include parameter must be equal. And now I will simply type net equal to double quotation mark which mean a null close parenthesis we have this simple formula and now i will simply hit enter now my data sheet is ready i will click on my pivot table pivot table analyze here you can see insert timeline slicer i will click on this one and we have only one date column i will simply check this one and hit ok now it will show me all of the year. For example, in this case, I have the data sheet starting from 2022. So if I click on this one, it will only show me 2022 data sheet. And if I click on February, it will only show me 2022 February data sheet. The next thing I will click anywhere on my array formula and you can see a blue border, which mean we have this whole array formula. Click on insert recommended chart. In this case, I will click all chart on the bottom area. You can see box and whisker plot. And now I will simply hit OK. Now I will click on my chart. Hold control key. Click on my timeline slicer. Hit control X. Insert a new worksheet. In this case, I will rename this sheet. Let's say dashboard. Now I will simply hit control V and we need to do a little bit more formatting. The first thing I will move this chart a little bit on a top area. And now I will increase the width of my chart a little bit more. Click on my timeline slicer and I will simply move on the right area. The next thing I will click on box. Click on format. We need to change the color. So I will click on shape fill. In this case, I will assign this blue color. For the shape outline, I will choose this dark black color 
and for the shape outline width i will select let's say one point and now i will click on orange box click on format for the shape fill in this case i will select this custom color for the shape outline i will choose one point as well i think we don't need the grid line i will click on my chart click on plus button and simply uncheck the grid line and we also need the legend so i will simply check this one now i will simply type my chart title i will do a little bit formatting i will increase the size of my chart title And now I will go to view and of the grid line. Of course, you can do some more formatting, but this is the basic tip how to create box and whisker chart. Now, for example, if I select other months, my chart dynamically update. I hope you enjoyed this video and learn something useful. I will share this file with you so that you can learn all of the method. If you have any specific question, just write me comment. Thank you so much.